guys, so it's June the 4th, day 11, and I have just been grocery shopping, and I've got a lot of people requesting that I do a grocery shop kind of haul, supermarket haul, um, so that's what I'm going to do today. It's kind of weird, but um, like I said, a lot of people have been asking for it, so here you are. The reason why my hair looks really crazy is because it's chucking it down with rain outside, and I forgot to take an umbrella to the shops. So, without further ado, guys, I'm going to show you what I bought from the supermarket not very organized with my packing so just be aware I'm just gonna pull things out as we go along and I use reusable bags so um, it's not incredibly organized first off I just have a bag of salads it's just Waitrose baby leaf herb salad um, then I have some kale which is very tasty I like to put that in with quinoa or make salads out of it then I have some button mushrooms which I don't usually eat that many mushrooms I just kind of went out on a bit of a limb and bought some mushrooms today and see what I'll do with them. Um, Lurpak butter, that's usually for Mike, I don't really eat much butter to be honest. Um, and, because Mike likes it on his toast in the mornings. And then I have Waitrose Essential Apple Juice, and this is also for Mike, because I prefer like proper, fresh, cloudy apple juice, even like, ju there's my juicer there, so even make my own. But Mike likes the really cheap, like concentrated, like clear apple juice, which, you know, each to their own. <laughs> it's not my favourite, but Mike loves it. And then I have these pears. I only bought two of them because they were kind of expensive pears. But how amazing do these look? They are the... Are they Pharrell? I th just thought they looked really tasty. And I don't normally buy pears, but I thought they looked like pretty good pears, to be honest. Then I have some kiwis. And then I have some skimmed milk which is for me, and then I have semi-skimmed for Mike. And that is it for that bag. In the next bag, I have some steak, which probably be for dinner sometime this week. Um, then I have some like ready-prepared prawns, king prawns, which are a little bit of a treat for me. I'm going to have these for lunch in a salad. Well, not all of them because it's a massive pack, but I'm going to have some of them for lunch with a salad. Then I have a couple of packs of my favourite, like, pre-prepared um, chicken fillets. And I don't usually, like, I prefer to cook things from fresh, but to be honest, if you're in a hurry or if you're preparing food for, like, a lunchbox for work or something, these things are amazing because you can just cut them up, put them in a salad, and they're good. And these ones were reduced because they go out of date today, so I'll probably have these for dinner tonight. Um, Moroccan ones, which I haven't had before, and then I got the sweet chilli ones, which are my favourites. And then, this is the exciting part, guys. Washing tablets. <laughs> and then, fairy liquid, washing up liquid. This is the, obviously this is the really exciting bag. Dishwasher tablets. And Woof's, Woof's choice of dog food. This is Woof's favourite. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because it's heavy to do with one hand. Pedigree Chum with gravy. The gravy is the all-important part. If you buy the one without gravy, she doesn't like it. She gets a bit devery. She only likes the gravy option. I'm going to put this on the floor. And then this last bag is the biggest. This has kind of got most of the things in it. And you might notice, like, some of the stuff I buy is organic. Some of the stuff isn't. And the reason for this being, I'm going to turn the camera around, the reason for this is that Buying organic in the UK, if you don't live in a city, because I don't live in a city, it's actually quite hard to get a lot of the things organic. You can buy the basics, so like organic eggs, milk, usually like carrots and basic vegetables, but things like kale and spinach, it's pretty hard to find them organically unless you go to a farm shop. And then even at farm shops, I find a lot of the stuff, even though it's locally grown, isn't organic. Anyway, so that's why I have kind of half and half organic, if you guys are wondering, because I know some people are like massive advocates of buying organically and all that stuff. I'm kind of like halfway there, I do agree with it, but at the same time, I'm not gonna go like majorly out of my way to only eat organic food because it's not actually that easy for me to find. So there is your explanation. Um, some bread, the Waitrose Organic <laughs> Farmhouse Wholemeal Bread, which looks good, I've never actually had that before. Um, I'm trying to get Mike to eat a little bit more healthily, so instead of getting him white bread, I bought him brown bread, see how he, how he likes that. Fresh eggs, these are the large ones, they have extra large, but I find that two of these kind of size are amazing for scrambled eggs in the morning for my breakfast. Then I have some bananas, tasty ones, they're like medium size, I don't like too big a banana. Um, organic asparagus, which 
I am so happy that asparagus is back in season in the UK because I hate buying it. In the winter, it's always imported from Peru, and I just think it's ridiculous to be buying asparagus that's been shipped all the way from Peru. So I'm glad that they have UK asparagus again. Then I have a few apples. I'm going to show you. These are my ultimate favourite apples. They are... I can get in the bag. These are jazz apples. And they look like that. They don't really look like anything special, but they just taste so good. They're really, really crisp and crunchy. I hate it when you get that kind of, like, powdery apple that just tastes horrible. But the jazz apples are really good. And they almost taste kind of like pear drops, which is really yummy. Um, then I have some broccoli, just bog standard. I have a cucumber, which I did manage to get organic, and it looks kind of interesting. It's, like, not... It's darker than normal. It's got spots on. Interesting looking cucumber. Um, cherry. Well, I think these are actually plum tomatoes. Yeah, baby plum tomatoes, which I love. Um, and then I got two sticky toffee puddings. These are for Mike. They're his favourites that you put in the microwave. And what else did I get? Blueberries. A big box of blueberries because I love blueberries. Tasty. And that is pretty much it. The last two things I got are... The green Tabasco, the jalapeno mild Tabasco. Oh my god, this is amazing. On scrambled eggs. Best thing in the world. <laughs> Actually is. Um, and then I got some tea. And this is the tea that Mike and I have all the time. It's the Twinings Everyday Tea. It's kind of posh. I used to drink PG, PG Tips before I met Mike, and then he always drinks this, and it's actually really, really good. So that's a huge box, because we just ran out. And then I actually got a couple of cards, because it's Father's Day. I know, I think Father's Day... Um, is a different date in the States, and I don't know about elsewhere, but it's definitely different in the States to the UK. Um, I know Mother's Day is, I'm pretty sure Father's Day is too, but it's this Sunday. So this one is for my dad, number one dad in the world, and this one is for Mike's dad with the wellies, because he's kind of outdoorsy type. Um, and then I'm going to get them gifts. I'm not sure what I'm going to get them yet. But that is it for my glo glo glossary, for my groceries. Um... Hope you guys like this kind of video. I know it's really random, but I did get requested to do it quite a lot. And especially because I'm trying to eat healthily as well, so you can see kind of what I've been buying and what I tend to eat. This is like a weekly shop for me, and then I tend to kind of top up. So I'll go on a major shop once a week, and then I tend to kind of make a few trips into town to either like buy meat or things that will kind of go off quickly. Um, and I also tend to keep quite a lot of stuff in the freezer as well. So we freeze a lot of... Um, meat if we can and things like rice um, and all of that stuff tends to be like in the store cupboard so that is my weekly shop I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for June 4th day 12 it's going ridiculously fast and it's one week till till LA guys so I'm so so excited about that I also want to say as well I think I'm going to change the name from June to force to vlogifornia like when we're in California so let me know what you guys think about that, because I wanted to do like June DeForce Day whatever and then Vlogifornia and then the title and I just thought that would be too long, so I might just change the name. What do you think? Do you think I should keep it the same or do you think I should change it? Um, yeah, that is it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye!